Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are on the island line in the class 484. I need to get this up very quickly because it expects you to open the doors right away. Get all these safety systems turned on. There we go. Get this on. Need to turn the passenger lights on. Open that, because why not? Headlights are on, tail lights are on, and we have the destination. To change the destination, which you can do is these two here. Now, we need to close the doors. DRA is on, we're all good to go. It's a fairly quick setup here. I can bust the guard. And off we go. So yeah, this is the class 484 um, to the Isle of Wight, to the Island Line, part of the updated version, I guess. Which, if you're looking to buy the Island Line, um, and you're not sure if you need the older version, like I was, you don't need to buy it, the older version. You just need to buy this one. Then that's it. Which is nice. So we got Ride Esplanade, Ride St. John's, Smallbrook Junction, Raiding, Sandown, Lake, and then 12 minutes past 10, Shankland. That's about what? Just under half an hour? Yeah. Stop markers just there. So right us one more. And this and I open the doors. Yeah, there's our marker. It's fine. Now there is guard panels here. But I don't know how they work. <laughs> so I I can't do anything with them because I don't know how to unlock them. And I can't find anything in the cab to get them open but yeah it's a cool feature I I do yeah I know they do work I just can't figure out how they work but it's fine we're not using it today because you can play as a guard if that is your wish let's get those doors closed action close and we can close our door. And off we go. Right, St. John's Road next. We have to go through the right tunnel to get there. Just leave it at 18. Let it coast. Because we are going to go down quite a steep gradient into the tunnel. And this is, from my understanding, the sole reason why they use old London Underground trains because this one is and so was the last one they used 1933 stock and then this one's the D stock I think it was so yeah this is this is the reason the sole reason for my understanding as to why they have to use old underground trains But I feel like these old undergrounds kind of make sense. But well, old underground trains kind of make sense for this place. How we coming? Yeah, this game developed by River Games. River Games is best. Definitely, definitely their best. Group on the game. Although they did release the um, the new Scottish route, the Edinburgh to Glasgow, the 385. 
It looks good, but you'll notice if you listen to a lot of the sounds on the 385 and this that they are recycled sounds, specifically the door sounds and the button sounds. They are they're recycled sounds. But I, I haven't bought that room. I don't know if I want to. But if you want to, this isn't this this is this shouldn't discourage you for buying it. But a route you should buy is this one. If you're looking into buying it, you definitely should. It is it is a good route. If you like the short you know the short lower speed routes then this is definitely for you. Came in early. Came very early to this stop. Yeah, here's another, another four eight four. Four eight four double five. What are we? Four eight four double one. Go up over the bridge and a seagull. Oh no, I thought, I thought that top bit was a seagull. <laughs> You want? You can walk around, go everywhere. You can go in the sheds. There's a little di dinosaur there. Those are the. Is it a dinosaur? I think it is. Those are. That's one of the collectibles. Another one's a sailor's hat. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The attention to detail on this route is. Is quite good. It is very good. It's a high. It's. It is quite a high standard. So open and close the doors from the outside as well, it's pretty cool. Use these. Bottom one as well. It is quite cool. It's very cool indeed. Yeah, let me show you the room. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Not very long at all. There's all the units. I don't think there's another one out. Wrong button. Let's have a look, is there another one for the down the line? No, there isn't. We need to get going. Off we go. Soon we get to go to the top top speed of a whopping 45 miles an hour. How exciting! This train does take off fairly quick. You watch the speed go up. saw on the left here it does have a horn and a whistle this train is very loud I hope you can hear me okay <laughs> over anyway we've got small brook coming up Thousand feet. I don't know why they did it in feet instead of yards. But feet's mostly an American thing, isn't it? Anyway, here we come. There's a marker on the left. The two car. Smallbrook Junction, obviously, the uh, place where you can change over, 
onto another platform. And oh look. What's this? This is where the Isle of Wight Steam Railway comes to. It goes all the way up to uh, Wooten. Yeah, nice little little place here. Anyway. And there's our train to Shanklin. Calling it Sandown Lake in Shanklin. We've got Braden before Sandown. Here's another collectible, the posters you gotta put up. Let's head back to the train. As she walks through a bench. Nice. Just decides that. Oh, right, too. Decided that a uh, bench physics is not her thing. It'd be cool if they added the steam railway into this one. Unfortunately not. But it is it is there on TS Classic if you do want to have a go. It's all there. It comes with the Isle of Wight route, it's not separate. Of course, the Isle of Wight route that they sell on TS Classic is the old version, the non updated version. So you've still got the 483s and braiding still single track. Cheer, of course, is not, because it's been upgraded to double. It's now a passing point, just like Sandown was. This route, this route is a good route. It's very good. I'm tripping it quite a bit. Both in TS Classic and TSW3. Just is very, very good. do make sure their trains are very loud which isn't a bad thing <laughs> by all means it is not a bad thing because we like loud trains but they are very there's loud and then there's river loud if you don't fully quite understand why the measurements this and this are in feet can't quite understand it but Since I'm an American, I, I cannot wrap my head around feet at all. How big is a foot? I don't know. Let's probably start breaking for that 15. Since it's just past the bridge. next to the signal. It's telling us that we can go in to the station and we're going to the left. But then we crawl in. <laughs> Let's go watch it. From the slipper crossing. Nice tractor. Nice tractor. Okay. Only 
kill me. Notice that signal box there. You can walk in that. Effectively, of time. Do go over. Stop. Put the DRA on so we don't have a runaway train situation. Off we go to the signal box. I think we have enough time. If not, I will. But yeah, this is the one, former abandoned platform, I guess you can call it. Up to the signal box. We have a little dinosaur controlling everything. See all them. Oh, these levers. And there's a map. Southern Railway. Because, of course, it once was part of the Southern Railway. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a lovely signal box, though. Be nice if if things could work in it, but there's no need for it. Also, another thing, you can adjust your chair height. So if you can sit lower down. Or... It doesn't make much of a difference, but it's there if you want if you want to adjust your chair height. We go to Sandown in 9,000 feet. However far that is, I don't know. God, I'm surprised it stayed sunny because normally it starts to rain when I do this. I've got dynamic weather on. Just, but it's lovely. If you're wondering my settings, I've got the foliage quality turned up to high. Everything else is on medium to low. The shadow quality is on low, and you see how good it is. Lighting is still still up to a very good standard, very good quality. I would put everything up to uh, to the highest settings, but my computer can't do that. It will um oh I don't want to know what will happen if I did do that. It wouldn't be very happy. Very good at all. Anyway, put the sand down now. Got a fifteen in a thousand feet. So I guess we're gonna start coming down for that. We've got a fairly steep gradient, one point three percent to help us. Speed is bad, essentially. I don't. Why? Because I'm good. I'm a great train driver. It must be really nice to drive this line in real life, though. It has to be one of the best.
course, if you're if you're someone who likes a challenge, you can give this through Hudless. And I have done a Hudless before. It's really nice. It's quite easy to learn the route as well because there's not much to it, you see. So it's quite an easy thing to learn. I'm gonna show you this. As well. You can see here. You can see where the old platform was, and you see how much they've raised it to accommodate for these trains. It's quite a bit, quite a sizable chunk. It's almost, yeah, they've almost put that platform on top of itself. And there's a tunnel here that's for the Explorer, where you can go under. Little cheeky collectible. So all the stops were here. So we've only got Lake and then Shanklin to go. Yeah, the whole thing fully, fully explorable, everything. Down we go again. This this route, I think only. Well, eighteen euro, and you can put that in whatever currency you have. But it is quite good. It's very good considering the price compared to other routes. You know, it's it's very very good. That's why initially, before buying it, I thought it was just not, I thought it was just you know you needed the older version of the island line to to buy this one. But you don't. You can just buy this one if the more modern is what you're up for. But it's still it is very very good. Anyway, Lake connects in three and a half thousand feet. Come on, there we go. Up to forty five we go. And those those measurements in the top left for the red signal and the fifteen miles an hour. Those are for Shanklin. So you can see how close we are. And now we've got a downhill gradient of 1.1%. Yeah, so Lake is that station that I can never quite get the brake right for. It. It's either I brake too early or I overshoot. Like quite a distance. Obviously, braking too early is the much favourable option because I mean you'll stop at the station, but. on that door. Yeah. This door as well. Use the key that you open the main doors for. We've got windows. Where are they? Can you open the windows. I think it makes a difference in sound. I don't know. I haven't tried it. It's very modern. <laughs> Lake. I think. Is it the shortest platform? It's either this or small brick. Or they're all roughly the same size. I don't know. But in my head, this one is. the smallest one. Doors are closed. And our door is closed. And we can go. Another crossing coming up.
it's the 1.1% gradient all the way up to Shanghai. If you wanted to take it back as well, there is a very short turnaround. I think it's on I think it's like four minutes, so you don't have much to wait at all. So you can get there, open the door, shut this end down. And then wait a minute, a few minutes, and then be back on your way. Back to right here head. I think it's the same there as well. So you can do this as many, many times as you want. Then we come to Shanklin, the last stop. It's that lovely sign that says, Welcome to Shanklin. Where there's apparently dinosaurs. How cool. Let's get the train shut down then. Turn the instrument lights off. Put the tail lights on. It wants us to lock the doors. Can turn that off and turn that off. Might want us to turn the train on to end this. It does. Oh no, we just need to wait. Never mind. Now. There you go. 27 minutes. Right. Turn that off, turn that off. Oh yeah, we can change this as well. Why not? Sundown braiding, small rock junction, runs and runs for your head. And then that'll come up on the front. Hey yeah, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Um, if you did, then please do go ahead and leave a, leave a like. It really does help a lot. And and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments if there's any route you would like to see me drive in the future. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it from me. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.